Hello, my friends. Welcome back to Aeon of Purification. Uh, as I said last time, we are going to Shakuras first, because we don't do that very often, and you know what? I feel like, because things actually, like, scale over and stuff in this campaign, it'll be a pretty good place to go. So we're gonna give it a try. Uh, and by good, I just mean less bad than normal. I usually think it's the worst place to go. But this could be fun. Let's get some sub- Oh, AI personalities. Oh, that's a really smart way to use this. Rohana- I'm talking. Uh, that's a really clever way to use this. So you don't have to design 30 different units. Instead, you divine, design the AI personalities. I like that. Okay, let's take a look. We have AI personality Talus. So this is for the Adept tier. Uh, Leech's shields when attacking. Unity of Purpose grants additional shield armor per stack. Uh, I think Unity of Purpose is when they're all next to each other. Or AI personality Zerana. So, gains 2% increased movement speed per stack of Unity of Purpose and remains permanently cloaked when not attacking. And then, Adepts gain 2% increased movement speed per attack of Unity of Purpose, are permanently cloaked while not attacking. Sorry, I got very excited with the are permanently cloaked and then I read are not attacking. It was like, are permanently cloaked without attacking. 50% increased damage while cloaked. Uh... Let's go... Let's go shield armor here. Uh, no, let's go permanently cloaked. Let's go, yeah, I mean, it's a Dark Templar mission after all. And then we have, this is our Dragoon tier. So, Lassitar uh, allows the instigator's blink ability to restore 50 shields over 5 seconds as well as granting 50% increased movement speed after every use. Um, that's insane. So, is this just for one AI personality or does it give this buff to everybody? If it's to everybody, this is the most broken thing in the history of broken things. Gains the ability to overwatch targeted area, granting increased attack speed against enemies in the target area. Well, I'm going to try this for defense, and then we are going to give the other thing a go later. Uh, I have to figure out exactly how the AI personalities work. So in co-op, the way they work is that you buy an upgrade, and then what it does is for one of each of the unit type that you have the upgrade for, it turns them into an elite heroic purifier. That is, you know, the AI brains of uh, one of those people. So you only get one. And like, if the blink restores 50 energy on just one, couldn't care less. <laughs> if it's to everybody, I could care a lot. Never good when you got a photon cannon and a battery over here. <laughs> oh my goodness, this map is huge. And we have allies. Okay. Uh, Hierarch, a contingent of Kaidaren smiths have remained at their post to continue production of the cores used in Kaidaren monoliths. They should remain protected. They may be able to provide you with additional monoliths in future battles. Ooh, that's cool. I wouldn't be surprised if the monolith was better than normal, simply because, uh... Oh, yeah, okay, so we have Overwatch for both of you. Sorry, there's a lot of stuff that we gotta learn right at the beginning. Uh, I don't know if this cutscene has changed. We're getting a new Spear of a Dune ability, right? I guess we had warp and reinforcements last time. You know what? Let's just watch it. We'll see. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna tempt fate. Yeah. So things on burrow, and then it's gonna be like orbital strike, and then they zoom out, and the I haven't watched this in a really long time, but yeah, they he's like pew, 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 and it's like and it has this really cool sound effect that is not what it would sound like going through the atmosphere, but that's okay. It's like not even in the atmosphere at this point, don't worry. But he did good that Why is there all the purple vortexes? <laughs> pink. Pink. <laughs> it's pink. <laughs> okay. Oh, I gotta read stuff. One sec. Uh, phasing protocol. Infiltrators activate emergency phasing protocol upon taking fatal damage, preventing death for three seconds, removing collision. Upon expiration, cannot be shielded again for 60 seconds. Inject allied stack defense structure with a attack speed... Or purifier AI personality, increased attack speed. That's cool. Uh, and then inject enemy static defense with purifier personality. It will take control of the target structure for 20 seconds. That's awesome. And then permanently cloaked. Okay, so we have this Overwatch ability. Let's set that up to try to defend. And then let's try to get a couple more of these. Whoa, it's dealing a lot of damage. And we have a new thing. Orbital Annihilation. One concentrated beam. Oh, let's try it. That is... That is one concentrated beam of solar energy onto the battlefield from orbit. All right. 
Oh, jeez. <laughs> what is this? What would you ask? Oh, okay. I am intrigued. Micro mode online. Oh, the observer is actually really helpful here. Look at that. What's this? Next Void Thrasher location. Okay, it's south. There's, yeah, this map is ginormous. Uh, we have this area controlled. Let's get a little bit here and here. And then I'm going to put a battery in front. And then I'm going to take these CG guys. And we're actually going to set it up like that. Hopefully that's good. And then I want to get some attack upgrades. I want to get some Dark Templar. And I guess we're going to start clearing to that location. I kind of like uh, holding up these orbital annihilations. They seem very nice. Yeah, hopefully the setup works. There's so much static events. So does it just auto? Oh, dude. Dude, that's so cool. Dude, it just steals their static defense. I'm a little thief man. Oh gosh, they are up and at them early. Yeah, and they do a lot of... Hello. Very low durability enemy. No, no, no. Okay, we have that invulnerability thing. The ability to clip through stuff while invulnerable is super sweet. Okay, then we gotta go up. Uh, can we build Monolith? Uh, no. Cannon, cannon. And then... Uh, I'm not sure about the adepts. I would like them, but they uncloak when they attack, right? Which is a little bit. I'm not. I'm not so sure about it. Uh, let's try to open up this. If we could clear the area and secure our friends, that seems like it'd be really good. I would love to have more friends. Indeed, complete. Yo, having this observer with us is great. Yeah, and they're just killing their own static defense. These, these goobers. What do you think you're doing? I you need that. You Gonna attack you. We're gonna we're gonna head up there in a moment. I just want to make sure that I have my orbital annihilation for the next part. Okay, here we go. Don't you dare! I guess we just disable it, huh? Oh, I just, I targeted the wrong thing. I didn't even miss. I hit what I was aiming for. I just was aiming for the wrong target. That's not good gameplay. Oh, we gotta let you do your full damage. To, yeah, there we go. <laughs> oh, this is so crazy. Oh, we could like snipe. I want to snipe an overseer with this. This is the base. Cool. And then we have these guys right here. I feel like I'm making really good time. These Dark Templars seem absolutely amazingly cool. And I don't want to over-rely on them because I'm afraid that they're going to stop being good at some point. You know, you don't want to be too risky. But for right now, I feel like they can be a balanced part of my breakfast. Oh my, hello. That is a big attack. They're even pulling the queens. I like this uh, instigator thing, though. Seems real, real good. Okay, that's all down. Now, it's probably about to erupt out of the ground and be like, Roar, my name is Darth Killington. Oh. Well. Uh. Let's try this again. Oh, they just... Rude. <laughs> Very rude. Well, we got a couple Dark Templar here. Um. Oh, no, no, no! Ah. Okay, well, that's not good. Whoa! Oh, there we go. It just wasn't taking damage for a moment, so I lost a thing. There's just Zerglings here. There's an opening right here that I didn't know about, but, uh... I know about it now. It's weird. Everything is connected like it's a real city instead of just being a causeway. This is like proper residential planning. Thank you for building the static defense, Mr. Ally. 
I love these allies. They're just like the little little static defensing is huge. No, stop. Stop. You got to run into the enemy static defense because it's, it's so strong. We got to build up over here, though. We are very gas flooded. We got to make a lot of progress, too, but they just don't leave that area alone. You got to chill. Losing the Nexus was pretty bad, and I am concerned about it. Okay, our ally is starting to help. Now we're going to start trying to make progress. I see no queens. I want to take these down. And keep moving. Is it up here? It might be up here. It looks like it's right here. Okay, okay, okay. Um, everything is starting to get goodified. Happy, happy Grant. We got shield batteries over here. We have DTs defending this area. Are these auto casting this uh, air personality thing? I think they are. Yeah. Okay. I hope they're auto casting it properly. I'm going to check back and... Oh my goodness. Um, well... That's not good. I'll save you, ally. So we got this. We're over here. We're fine. Um, Let's get a shield battery to make sure everything is okay on that side and then we're gonna get shield battery here cannon here and this, okay so we're doing a lot more fortifying than i thought we were going to i know i keep saying okay but i'm just i'm processing has you know okay the next one way over to the side so these seem to have about 99 percent damage reduction for a little bit but then they go down fast if you're in position you are very rewarded for this pre-clearing, which I feel like I've been doing a really good job of. A lot of the things I don't feel like I've been doing super, super good on, but uh, I have been in position really, really reliably for the main objective, and that is the most important thing. So that area is looking okay. I'd like to clear out the top at some point so that we could have this whole area to ourselves. That's kind of my next goal. But that might have to wait a little bit. Okay, where's the spore? It's so funny, we're like at the end of the mission. But I don't feel like we've made any... I haven't killed a single launch bay. Oh my goodness. Oh, if we could, right as that's passing, kill that and the queen, it'd be so good. The Zerg have extensively fortified this area. An orbital strike would help us break through their defenses. Come on. Yeah. Get it, Spore Crawler. Get it. Yeah. Yeah, no. You're so bad. Oh. Uh, our Templar. This area is looking okay. Uh, this is completely cleared for the most part, except for the parts that aren't. But I can draw up a couple guys over here. Then I'll have some anti air. Overwatch. I keep making workers. I don't need to do that. I just uh, keep preparing this area, and then I think we can grab some more gateways for clearing. So these DTs, I feel like could actually be a healthy part of a balanced composition in a way, because they have the ability to steal enemy stack defense, which is basically a damage negation ability, right? As far as I'm concerned... Oh, leave him alone, leave him alone. What is this? They got, like, the hardened barrier from co-op. Uh, we need... 
Couple of you. This is not ideal. Cannon, 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 cannon. Man, I am building a lot of static defense. I feel like static defense is just really good on this campaign, though. Because we can eventually move it if we have to, which is real big. Okay, so looking at the number of things that we are trying to do right here. Number one is we're oversaturated. I've been building too many things. Oh, look, they do autocast it. That's great. Number one is we want to deal with this. Then we want to go clear out this area, grab this space. Now fire the first volley. Easy peasy. I kind of want to see what these guys do, but at the same time, I'm not that interested. Not enough interest to lose the game to them. Steal that. Save it so we can shoot the overseer. Get him, get him, get him, get him. Yeah! <laughs> Lots of stuff over here. Gonna fire off the shot because uh, Dark Swarm. Also, Dark Swarm means we are supply blocked, actually. They killed one of our pylons, but that's okay. So, the next guy is a long ways down here, but I feel like I can clear a little bit more. Because I think it's in a place that we've been already, right? Yeah. So, we've already cleared out a lot of that. It's So, there's going to be a constant stream of these forever. That seems to be the play of the game. Which means, clear as much of this as we can. Be prepared for the next event. Then we go. Okay, I think it's about to start. I hope we got something done here. I feel like DTs are the play of the game still because they're so quick. Because, oh, that's an allied centurion. Okay. Take you guys and go. Just make sure that we're not going to be cut apart anywhere. Maybe we want to clear this out. I'm not so sure. Whoa! Hunterlings! Hey! That's cool. <laughs> it took me a moment to visually process. I was just like, is there a unit that jumped? And I'm like, oh my goodness. My starships? What are we going to do? <laughs> okay, we are we're so prepared for this. We can deal with this little guy. And right down here is, of course, one of the objectives. Heart of the city, huh? How about heart of the Protoss, because he got Protossed, bro. This goes down. You guys blink back home. Making progress. So the Kaidaran Forge is still protected, which is good. That's our objective. We want to come over here. Um... This area is still looking really safe. Now, the next one's there, which is very easy to get to. So we're going to try to kill this base and then swoop around. Just make a big U. Because we were so quick, I think we can do this. That's a hybrid. Uh oh. Oh, oh my goodness. Well, that was terrifying. What is this? A shrine of Amon. Oh. Huh. I kind of want to kill that. I don't know what it is, but it seems fancy. <laughs> this could be a really bad idea. I don't really have the frontal combat power that I'm wishing that I did for that sort of a thing. Uh, if we take down this overseer, though, I think we could do it real well. We're still fine on this side. We are starting to run out of minerals, but if we get this base, we'll have minerals, of course. That's a hot tech for you right there. Yeah, nothing else here detects. It's just this. Cool. 
Oh, these Kaboomers explode when they die. Alright, take all this down. Shrine of Amon. He whispered of this from the stars? Who knows? Oh, I'm still supply blocked. That's not good. But I think I got rid of their production over there. This area is looking okay. So Shrine of Amon just looks like a hybrid building, I'm gonna be completely honest. But I'm glad that I gave it a try. You know, we're learning stuff now instead of later, which I think is good. I think we're pretty close to being this mission, though. I feel in control. Okay, we're going to head over this way to this launch bay. We need Herb Observer. Oh my goodness. Here, take this down. We got to get out of here. My mineral fields are starting to deplete. This is going to be the hardest one, but I think that once we get this, we can YOLO it. We can just uh, start clearing, and we don't have to think about coming back home. I'd like to rebuild this if I can. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's so funny. I think that that base to the left-hand side, uh, killing it didn't do that much. That's okay, though. Yeah, get him. Get that launch bay. So, there's a couple things we could do here. Oh, we're definitely going to be waiting for that objective. Let's take an observer and start scouting around, see what we can find. The attacks are getting very brutal against this guy. We need to end this, otherwise they're going to die. And if they die, we don't get our bonus objective and it'd be so sad. Get you guys here. A little bit of this right here. Just trying to divvy them up properly. Then you are going to scout. Because in theory, if we need to really rapidly take this objective down, the best way to do it is warp in reinforcements and then get some DT. Oh. Don't bailing me, bro. Oh, you didn't. Oh my gosh, they become transparent. Yo, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. I haven't done the solar right reserves. We gotta do those. Um, where are they? I've been so distracted by everything else going on. I haven't even, is there, oh, we gotta find these. They should be easy. Um, this area say, whoa. We're fine. This area is safe. Uh, Solarite reserves. We gotta go on the hunt for these. All we gotta do is poke them, right? That's it. Well, find them and poke them. There's usually one over here. So we're gonna send the guys there and then... There's usually one there, but it's obviously not. It's been moved. So we're gonna check... A Whoa! That is a don't go there sign. That is, oh my goodness, no. Okay, so it's gotta be at the bottom. But we have this mission one whenever we need it to be. That is the important bit. Oh, this was chaotic. Truly, we mined out on this. Big, epic mission. I really, really vastly prefer this version to the original, which is done in like four minutes. It's, I think the base version of this is one of my least favorite missions to replay because of just how straightforward and simple it is in a samey sort of way. But this is, this has been interesting. Uh, could be up here. Let's see. Ah, base, I see. 
That would have been good to find before. Not necessarily the biggest, most importantest thing in the world. Where is this bonus objective? Oh, maybe right here. A little bit of an entrance. Either that or it's another Doom base. It is a Doom base. <laughs> they got a lot of Doom bases. Um, it's not there. We're just going to have to go over to this objective. Is it going to be right next to it? Did it was everything we did for naught. That'd be kind of funny. No! <laughs> it was right here. <laughs> Grant, you're so smart. With your with your technology and your strategy. Blink strike obtained. Infiltrators blink dealing damage to all units in a line. Nexus may now use revelation. Cool. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I can't believe it was so close to the <laughs> Oh, uh, well, I tried my best. Oh, that was a fun mission. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope that uh, the temple mission ends up being as fun as the rest of these have, because if they manage to make a good temple mission, that is going to be amazing. Thank you for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Oh, we, we might have some new stuff, actually. Let's look at our new stuff. Let's get, let's get set up. Cloak Warrior. So we got the Blink Strike ability. Yeah, uh, deal damage to every enemy within the path. Permanent cloak gain uh, temporary damage reduction under buff after blinking. Very nice. Vengeance. Inject AI structures barrier blocks up to 200 damage permanently cloaked. Reduce damage from attacks when near purifier stack defense structure or nexus. That seems great for this next upcoming mission. Really, really like that. Okay, so the Overwatch ability seems good for the defense mission. This uh, stack defense buff, very interesting and cool. I like it as a very interesting way to go with DTs, and I do think it's super, super neat. Leech's shields when attacking or movement speed. I think I want the movement speed because we might have to... Uh, maybe not. Not on this next mission. We'll get Leech's shields and shield armor. I think that's pretty good. And then we can hit up the Solar Matrix Core. Truly a wondrous sight. We have Warp and Reinforcements. Chrono Wave. Uh, all production. Structures attack speed. There we go. Very interesting. Or AI hijacked. Inject a purifier personality into the target structure, making it invulnerable for 15 seconds, forcing it to constantly construct legionnaires. Oh, that's so cool! Enemy structures are rendered inactive for the duration. That is not good on the next mission. This is good on the next mission. Now we have Orbital Annihilation, Confusion Bomb. Avoid infused bomb to the target location, driving all enemies into a mindless frenzy for 12 seconds. Affected enemies will attack each other and gain 50% increased attack speed. That's so sweet. Then Cleansing Flame. Warp in an unstable power cell to the target area. Power cell itself deals 300 damage over 5 seconds to enemies within it, while also emitting up to 30 volatile energy orbs. 10 damage per second. That's really cool as well. <laughs> um, I think we gotta go for the... Oh, starting infrastructure. Extra supply at the beginning of each mission, reducing the need for pylons. Each also provides one additional starting probe. Oh, that's just, that's just very kind. Reduces time to warp in structures onto the battlefield. Increases repair rate of the Nexus by 25%. Reduces cooldown of Translocate by 10% per level. Maybe... Maybe this. Chrono Wave seems very good for uh, what we're going to be doing next mission. Confusion Bomb seems very good for the Banelings. There's lots and lots of Banelings. On the next mission, uh, one thing I'm noticing, these are really long cooldowns. It is 90 seconds, 120 seconds, 120 seconds, 120, 180, and 60. So these are not spammable like uh, Solar Lance. They're very good, but they're not as spammable, which I really like. Then you get the aspect of the Spirit of Dune helping you, but it doesn't kill everything. My friends, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed today's episode. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.